It was funny and dope to see Freddie Gibbs, a gangster rapper, out of his element. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way. Hey, uh, I checked out Down with the King. It's a hip hop drama film that was directed by Diego Ongaro. The film's title is a metaphor for the events that revolve around the main character, Money Merc, a king in the rap game who has to bring himself back down to earth in order to find inspiration for his new rap album. The film had a slow start and never really picked up the pace. Throughout there were beautiful visuals of the countryside and nice scenes of day-to-day -day farming activities like sawing down trees and feeding cows but there just wasn't enough drama to justify this joint playing out for close to two hours. The film follows Mercury Maxwell, AKA Money Merc, a famous hip hop artist who goes out to the countryside to catch some new creative vibes for his upcoming album. His manager and label co-sign his new creative process, but after he taps into his farming roots while helping out a friend who owned a nearby farm and meeting a good old country gal, he announces his retirement from rap. So his manager rushes out to the countryside to bring him back to reality and the music business which pays for their lavish lifestyles. The film's camera work and the way it played out gave off documentary vibes. It showed the process some artists take in order to create new material while being pressured by record labels and fans for new music. It also showed how some artists crumble under that pressure and go off to try new things that they're passionate about instead. It highlights that some artists need to isolate themselves in order to create new music. Do y'all remember when Kanye went to the countryside in Wyoming to work on his album, Yay? This film was a reflection of that. In the film, Money Merc struggled to find new concepts to rap about other than his gang gang activities he'd been pushing to the public for years. He dipped out to the countryside for inspiration, but unbelievably, the farm life ain't changed his raps one bit. After all his countryside experiences, he still rapped about the very same dope boy activities he always did. I thought feeding cows and dicing up pigs and trees would have had him producing tracks about black farmers because he briefly spoke about the lack of them. His character personified the phrase, you can take me out the hood, but you can't take the hood out me and reminded me of how some rappers consistently rap about being in the hood and selling dope, but in reality, they're living it up in a mansion somewhere nice. The film is a reminder that most rappers ain't about that life and their rhymes are just for entertainment and none to live by. Money Merc also spoke about the dangers of being a modern day gangster rapper and how rap is a young man's genre. All these concerns played a part in his decision at the end of the film to choose a simple life. This was a solid role for Freddie Gibbs. His performance as Money Merc felt natural and not forced. It kind of felt like he was playing himself. 
The film reminded me of how 50 tried to portray himself in Get Rich or Die Trying and Eminem in 8 Mile, but without all the action scenes. This film is a good stepping stone for Freddie Gibbs though cause he got to show his emotional side and keep it G. He also had some dope tracks and freestyles sprinkled throughout the film too. This was a heavy duty slow paced drama that would have been a lot better had they added a few action scenes in it. The whole time I was waiting for some to pop off but none really did. There was just a whole lot of dialogue between the characters. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it two mics. Let me know what y'all thought about Down With The King in the comments below. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. I have movie related content dropping every week. So lock in with me and hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm gonna get up with y'all on the next video, all right? Holla at me. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way.